Hi, my name's Mike, and in today's message, I've got two to share. Uh, the first one is called "Look to the Sky." Sorry, "Look to the Signs in the Skies," given to Cryptic One on December 16. This is how it starts. Based on this message given by the Holy Spirit, 12, 6, 20, I believe we will start to see more signs in the heavens pointing to the coming days of tribulation. The message follows. This is how it starts. I want you to revisit the posts on the free days of darkness. It is coming soon, sooner than most realize. I have given warnings and indications of the timing of this event. It is for you, my children, to determine when this will be. Be ready and watchful at all times, for ye know not when the Son of Man returns to the earth from whence he come. There is a grand alignment to take place soon. See a sign of fulfillment, Bethlehem Star uh, from Elizabeth Marie, and there's a link there as well. I'll leave all the links in the comment section. It heralded my arrival on my birth and will herald in the second coming of the Son of Man upon the clouds of glory. This event will usher in major apocalyptic cataclysmic destruction, the likes of which have never been seen or witnessed. But you are living in the times of the end, surely. All my words, all that has been written, all that has been spoken by my prophets and messengers will come to pass. Stand back and see my power unfold before you and see the world quake in fear as all will be revealed then. I have come to clean up the house of God which has been desecrated beyond compare. I will take down the unrighteous and unholy and begin to separate of the sheep from the goats, the wheat from the chaff. The hour of destruction has come upon the earth and how I wish it would be on fire for me. I am an all-consuming fire. I will consume all before me that is not worthy of me. I come to divide, not to bring peace. I bring division so that man can choose for himself whose side he will align himself with this day. Choose me and choose life. I am the way, I am the truth, I am everlasting. I will return soon upon the clouds of glory be ready, be prepared to receive me in your hearts. Stay in my word, keep it deep within your hearts where I will reside with you. I am the word from the beginning of time, from the foundation of the world I was, I am. I go now to prepare a place for my own. Your Lord and King, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the Saviour of the world, I am that I am. The Rakh HaKadosh has spoken. Amen, amen, amen. And the message continues, Dust off your Bibles, the King is here. Get my word deep inside of you, that it may penetrate every fibre of your being and do what it was meant to do. My word spoken in faith from a believer has great power and authority to manifest. If you believe, you will receive what I have to offer. You must become like little children to enter my Father's kingdom. Amen, amen. I return soon, children. I will, will I find faith when I return to the earth from whence I come? Amen, amen. Look for me. Watch, prepare, be ready. The hour of your redemption draw nigh. Amen, amen, amen. It is so. And it ends there. There's a couple of scriptures you want to read. I can read one of them. Luke 21, 10 to 11. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be great earthquakes in various places and famines and pestilences and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven okay and for the next message on similar lines as well about the sign in the heavens it's called a sign and fulfillment bethlehem star jesus is coming given to sister elizabeth marie it was posted on the, uh, the 4th of december dream on february the 5th 2018 i had a dream that i believe could be fulfilled on 12 21 20. the video link for this is here so there's a link there you can press on in this dream I, I saw two huge planets on opposite sides of the sky and then i saw them starting to come closer and closer towards each other i thought 
they were going to collide and crash with one another, but instead they came into very close alignment. Then I woke up and heard these words, just like the Bethlehem star. Then the Lord reminded me another word that I got back in March 2016, and this is what it says, look to the Bethlehem star. Just as it was with my first coming, so shall it be with my second. In the end times, Jesus said that he would see signs in the sun, sky, sun, moon and stars. And this is the scripture, uh, Luke, uh, we read that already, Luke 21, 25, repeat again. And there will be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity and sea and waves roaring. That's Luke 21, 25. Um, and it carries on, I believe that we started seeing these prophetic signs of Jesus soon return in September 2014 with the red blood moons for two consecutive years on the Hebrew feast days as well as the Revelation 12 sign that occurred in September 2017. There was also what we call the Bethlehem star that showed up for three years in a row from 2015 to 2017 when Jupiter and Venus came into alignment. It is one of the many conjunctions of what the Bethlehem star really was. Most believe that it was an alignment of planets and not an actual star. Most agree, however, that it involves Jupiter, which is the king planet. Now there is a new alignment coming on, on the 21st of December 2020 with Jupiter and Saturn. They are also calling this the Christmas star or the star of Bethlehem, since it will be so bright just like before Jesus was born. One astronomer said after 30 years of research that this Jupiter and Saturn is the actual alignment for the Bethlehem star. Although Jupiter and Saturn's alignment occurs about every 20 years, this upcoming one is different. It is because these two planets will occur very close to one another, just like my dream. This hasn't happened since March the 4th uh, 1226 is 800 years ago. Brothers and sisters, this uh, upcoming alignment of two large planets very well could be a very important sign for Jesus' soon return. There will be signs in the sky to usher in his coming, just like the first time he came to earth. For those who know the Lord Jesus, we need to look up for our redemption draws near. Continue to watch daily as we wait for our blessed hope, Jesus, to come for his bride. Uh, and that's it, really. Um, uh, my thoughts are Jupiter and Saturn. Um, they represent, I believe, Saturn, Satan, and Jupiter, the king planet, head to head. So this is the beginning of tribulation and the battle on Earth, I believe, is starting in that soon after that time, because that sign is like a sign saying there's going to be a head-to-head -head confrontation. Anyway, I'll leave it there and say, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer and repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.